السلام علیکم میرا نام دانیال شیخ ہے آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں یہ کریشٹ کار چینل کی ویڈیو جو بالکل اوریجنل ویڈیوز ہوتی ہیں اس چینل میں جو بالکل گاڑیوں کے ایکسیڈنٹس اور خطرناک طریقے کی ویڈیوز دکھاتے ہیں جس کے اکثر جو کاروں میں کیمرے لگے ہوئے ہوتے ہیں اور گاڑیوں میں کیمرے لگے ہوتے ہیں انشورنس کے طریقے پر وہی ویڈیو ہم آپ کو دکھاتے ہیں جینین ویڈیو اس چینل کو دیکھئے کریشٹ کار چینل دنیا بھر کا مشہور ایک کریشٹ کار چینل ہے یہ دیکھتے رہیے Audi Q5, BMW X3. Uh, I think this is a better choice from the three if you don't necessarily want a four-wheel drive car. Uh, most SUVs, compact SUVs and crossovers uh, today are sold uh, only with front-wheel drive, not all-wheel drive. Uh, on Volvo, if you want the diesel four-wheel drive, you will uh, need to to get the 2.4 uh, diesel uh, that means higher taxes higher insurance premiums and so on uh, the the rivals indeed have the 2 liter 4x4s the Audi 2 liter 177 horsepower the same year model as this one 2014 uh, the the X3 has the the 2 liter diesel with uh, 184 horsepower but if you want uh, if you don't necessarily want uh, a four-wheel drive car uh, this is the best you can choose uh, being uh, a front-wheel drive car you will have a uh, lower the fuel consumption also maintenance uh, cost much lower because it's not so so many moving components I think it's uh, enough introduction let's check uh, some aspects of the car this is how the key fob looks like uh, you have uh, you can turn the the daytime running lights uh, with it you can open the trunk you can lock the car unlock the car you can also open all the the car windows let me get in a better angle when you can see that here you go uh, when you lock the car if you have the sunroof open it will automatically close the the sunroof you cannot uh, open the sunroof when you open all the the windows and you have also the hazard button which uh, which can give some people panic on the street if you hold on it and pass it again you will start the the, the hazards and the, the horn you need to... yeah sorry about this light uh, i ordered some cameras and microphone also sorry about the sound if it's terrible but they, they didn't arrive yet and I already uh, had this car planned and I had to film it. So you can close the, the trunk from here, you can stop it from here, close it again. You also have an interior button to, to open the trunk. So inside the trunk, uh, a decent, decent spade. You, you don't have where to, to store the compartment but um, it's quite smartly uh, done this trunk you have this partial which opens uh, up 
you can hook uh, baggages, shopping to, to not uh, swerve around here. Uh, 12 volt electrical plug in the trunk. The, here you have a storage space for uh, a fire extinguisher, a high vis visibility vest if you want it, first aid kit. Uh, and everything you you need. You also have this hook. Then it's a bit hard with one hand. You can put it like that and have a better access here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, is not uh, this uh, this model is doesn't come with um, a spare wheel. You have a compressor and uh, the fixing gel. Uh, it's a great alternative this compressor and gel if you only have a puncture but if the tire is somewhat cut uh, it will not uh, it will not be sufficient so this is the trunk let me close this for you dual exhaust on the air uh, design model also you can mount uh, a tow hook. The, the tow hook can be easily removed if you press this down and pull it up. Uh, in some European countries you can only have the, the tow hook uh, on only if you're towing. If you're not towing uh, anything the tow hook must, uh, must be removed. So yeah, this is the, the trunk end of the car. Let's, uh, let's open the hood, check the engine a bit and then we'll get to to the interior. The, ho the hood release is very simple, like in most cars is here, but uh, that's on the inside of the car, but on the outside of a car it's a, it's a tricky uh, thing. Most people will check on the middle of the car for the hood release, but on Volvo XC60 is here on the side of the car. The, the hood is with telescope, it's a telescopic hood, uh, no need to to put a metal bar to, to hold it. Uh, this car has uh, 180 kilometers, uh, 180,000 kilometers. That's roughly 110 miles, 1,000 miles. Uh, it looks pretty good. Here you have your washer fluid for, uh, sorry about the bad focusing, washer fluid. Uh, it's a 6 liter reservoir because you also have a uh, headlights uh, washer. Uh, uh, this is, I don't like this characteristic. You can deactivate the headlight washer uh, to work only the, the windscreen washer. They both work at the same time. Sometimes I find that annoying. Uh, here you have your um, uh, steering fluid, your hydraulic fluid, and here you have your brake fluid. Pretty clean engine, nicely, nicely done. This uh, this compartment, uh, obviously being a Volvo, one of the safest, if not the safest, uh, cars in the world. You can see it's not much room for wiggle. <laughs> let's say like that. Uh, the battery can be a bit hard to remove. This is a battery have to this this middle part is not removable so yeah, this is under the hood let's let me close the hood the inside of the car uh, let me start in the back decent uh, decent space nothing uh, exceptional uh, or is not worth it an average uh, average uh, space uh, in the back for uh, rear, rear passengers. Uh, if you look to the the doors, you will see that also in the back and in the front is not that uh, much storage space, and that's because uh, the doors are heavily reinforced for uh, side uh, side impact. I don't consider this a disadvantage for storage. I I really like that you you can see physically that you are in a in a safe car. Also if you look at this uh, center pillar it's probably the, the thickest center pillars I have ever seen. The, the air design you also have leather seating, you have a central armrest with a storage space and also some pretty nifty uh, glass, uh, glass uh, holders. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. Rear center headrest, heating vents on the, the center pillars, and the sunroof. We will open it uh, immediately, comes all the way back to the, the rear seats. Sorry again for, for this light. You see beautiful art design uh, seats with uh, three memories for the the driver the passenger can uh, the passenger seat cannot be cannot memorize uh, seating positions uh, on the the driver's door you have your lock windows lock doors uh, power mirrors and power uh, windows front and back also the storage space in the front as i said in the back it's a bit uh, a bit small but better to have reinforced doors than storage space for bottles that's what i say uh, also being air design you have this beautiful beautiful steering wheel that also says air design here you have uh, sports pedals also on air design models on the interior you have a darker uh, center console with the silver strip going all the way up let's talk about a bit the the driver's control here you have the the electronic brake you push it to activate it pull it to deactivate it your interior lights um, intensity rear fog lights uh, this model doesn't have the front fog lights uh, auto headlights uh, you can also open the trunk from the inside and the, the fuel cab release button even though the door storage is a little bit small you have quite enough room here have two cup holders a 12 volt socket here uh, one annoying thing about these cup holders if uh, I'm guessing it could be a problem even if you have the, the automatic but being a manual you they get a bit in the way when you're when you're uh, when you're shifting gears even if you have a small uh, coffee or uh, even a water a small water they, they it can get a bit in the way and uh, later on you have to, to insert the key fob here and press the the start button this car is equipped with the the digital display we you can change the themes the performance team will show you the the ref count and the speedo uh, in the in the middle let me turn the music off you have sorry the the eco which is uh, focused on having an official fuel consumption you will see you have this bar here once you this arrow reaches the top you will get a, an award uh, for efficient uh, driving and you have the airling as with a slightly darker blue here you see the the water temperature and the rpm on the other side each of the teams they have a a contrast mode which when you activate it is slight, slightly reducing the the colors of the interior but the cars also have the navigation system you can control all the cars functions including the sound uh, from this uh, these buttons here all I find much easier for from this uh, this control here so if you click exit for example it will get in the the main screen of the car and with this uh, swivel wheel we can choose what we want to to see press it to click for example this car has active uh, by scene on lights which turn around let's see some trip statistics so the average fuel consumption for in the last 161 kilometers is 6.5 liters for 100 kilometers uh, i don't know how much is in gallons how many miles the gallon is that so it's a pretty decent uh, fuel consumption is an average fuel consumption also city highway and uh, side roads uh, regard, uh, taking in consideration that you have 181 horsepower, I think it's a it's a pretty pretty nicely done. Uh, climate control, auto, 
climbing you can already hear it starting let me just close that uh, direction of the airflow here you can activate the rear camera with guidance and if you press again on the cam you will see that it has a bit of zoom so you can zoom in if you want to see closer in the back sunroof you can I really like this this control uh, it's just one button to, to power it if you press up back stop close it's, quite, it's moving quite fast also so yeah beautiful interior Sorry about the bad focusing. All the, the, the plastic is really really soft. I don't know if you can see this. All the way here is not that scratchy. Uh, leather also on the doors. Metal trimmings. You have uh, shortcut buttons here for navigation, radio, media, uh, telephone, uh, car settings. Well, as I said earlier, I really find it easier. Uh, with with this steering uh, with swivel wheels here you have your cruise control buttons press it to activate it and on the plus button you just select uh, a speed and the car will maintain so yeah guys this was the review for the Volvo XC60 2014 D4 uh, hope you enjoy it Please leave comments on what uh, can I improve, what cards do you want to see next, and uh, have a great day. Bye.